Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I do not have my bands on today because my bands be prohibiting me from, you know, talking and I don't like it. So, um, so just a real quick update. This video is going to be about how to get a 100 in microbiology. As you guys know from a previous video, I scored a 100 and one. I'm going to show you guys my grades in microbiology. So this is my grade in microbiology and I'm going to show you guys, tell you guys what steps I took. I'm going to go down um, all the I'm gonna tell you the specifics of my class because I can't really tell you how your class will be. So I'm just gonna tell you how my class is. So first of all, I took microbiology as an eight week class. I did it during the summer. I started, um, I think it was like June. My summer semester of microbiology. Um, I then had added philosophy to the course because I didn't realize that my school, one of the prerequisites that I needed to get into my nursing program required for me to have philosophy. So my philosophy was like a last minute school. I took that in the, I took that as a four week class. So I got done with philosophy in four weeks and I scored a 99 in philosophy. Um, so my class I had to order for my microbiology class I had to order a lab kit now some people um, schools may provided a lab kit reason being was because my particular school um, this was like right after corona had just kind of hit hard so they had I had to pay for my um, my own lab kit that lab kit was three hundred and thirteen dollars with taxes and shipping and um, it was it, it, I was I was a little mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was very much mad about that. But because you know, I feel like the school should have provided it for us. It wasn't our fault that Corona wasn't Corona wasn't allowing us to go to school, and also it wasn't their fault either. But at the same time, I feel like, dang, you know, y'all could have provided for us. But anyway, long story short, I'm not sure how a lot of people classes are. I know I've gotten so many questions on my Instagram like, hey, can you give me tips and tricks on how to get a A in microbiology? First of all, depending on your teacher, your teacher may offer extra credit. My teacher offered um, a whole letter grade extra credit. So my extra credit points were 109 points by themselves. So that's almost like having an exam. So for instance, if you fail like your first exam, or if you actually missed your first exam, for some odd reason something happened where you actually missed it, you still had an opportunity to at least get an A in this class, um, or at least get a B if all this fail. Because think about it, if you lose 100 points, if I would have lost 100, I would have made like a 90 or an 80. Did you offer extra credit? My biggest advice that I can give to anyone is um, to look at your teacher's syllabus. Sometimes your teacher's syllabus will post like the week before class or like a like a, usually a week before class or maybe like a few days before school actually started and you can actually see your teacher's syllabus so what I usually do is when my teacher when I'm looking for a certain teacher to get into I would check their syllabus um, that they did the prior semester now mind you sometimes things do change but most of the time the classes traditionally stay the same so with that being said you usually have like the same kind of course track if your teacher taught that class in the fall but because of corona a lot of these teacher who normally teaches in person they're teaching online remotely only it kind of makes it hard to balance out how this teacher really course is really sought up because it's hard so traditionally that's one good tip I can give you like check your teacher syllabus see if that teacher offers extra credit because most of the time on their syllabus they will say hey I offer extra credit there is extra credit or some teachers may say there's no extra credit luckily for me my teacher offer extra credit and that's honestly if it had not been for the extra credit I probably would have scored like probably a 92 I'm serious because my extra credit was 109 points by itself 
a 90.5. So I would have made like a 90. Really, yes, I would have made a 90. So I still would have had an A, but it would have been like that 100 A. So trust me, the extra credit really played a part in me getting the 100 that I got. Because honestly, on my lab exams, I wasn't doing so hot. All my lab exams were 100. My first lab exam I got, I made a 72 out of 100 points, which was a C. Um, my second lab exam I did, it was 78 out of 100 points, which was a C. And my third lab exam, I scored an 85 out of 100 points. So my third one, I did really good. Um, also, another thing that messed my points up, because I didn't get my lab kit in time, some of the labs, I couldn't do the actual lab portion. I could only do the pre-lab questions, which instead of me getting the full 10 points, she was like, if you can't do the lab portion, you're only going to get half of the points. So some of those, I only got three of them, I only got five points out of each instead of 10. So technically... I would have had 15 points total so let's add that 15 points in it would have pushed me to a 92 if I had have had those five those 15 points added in because like I said because we didn't get our lab our lab kit was behind due to COVID so and I couldn't cheat because it was like she already knew I didn't have my lab kit so I wasn't going to be able to do labs one through I think it was like lab one through five I couldn't do um, labs one was not anything relevant to um, the lab so we didn't need to do that one lab three wasn't either so that one I got the full 10 points for but the lab two four and five I didn't get the full points for it so um, yeah it kind of sucked a lot so um, because I couldn't get those 15 points so I probably would have scored like a 92 in microbiology and not a hundred but because I did that, I got 100. So needless to say, um, another good tip I can tell you guys is do your work ahead of time. When I was in my microbiology class, I did my, I was two weeks ahead. So I was like way ahead of my time. And that allowed me cushion to read over the next chapters, go ahead and get started on my lab. My, our labs, we didn't have a certain time to not turn them in. So we had a deadline when to turn them in, but you can do all, I think there was a total of 13 labs. You can do all 13 labs at any time if you want to. Obviously there's timing between some, some, some particular labs may have like a two day wait period before you can see the results of whatever you're looking for, whatever um, fungus or mold or whatever you're looking for. Um, so some of them you had to take your time on, but honestly, you really didn't. You really could just do them all at one in one week or two weeks and be done with it. Some people actually were way ahead. During the first week of the first lab, because um, we didn't have to turn that one into like the 19th, but during that first week of our first one through five lab, she said she had people that were already on lab seven, eight, nine. And I'm like, what? School just started. So some people were like really working ahead, like three weeks ahead. But um, I didn't work that far. Obviously being a mom, I couldn't go too hardcore too soon, but, and I still had to work too. But at the same time, that was an option. So that was one good tip I can give you. Depending on, I'm not sure who will see this video and how you will see this video because some people may be taking their labs in person. I This is just me telling you how my labs went online only, all online. Some of you guys may see this video and you guys may be taking, and there, there are microbiology courses that are particularly offered online. So even before Corona happened, there were classes that were available online because I was gonna take microbiology in the fall of last year online only. And that means my labs were gonna be online as well. So either way go, it, it, if you're taking it online in person. So um, for some people who are taking it in person, there there may be certain days that you have labs and stuff. So it may not be as, you know, like this structure is set up because the labs are offered in person and you guys get to do it as a group, as a class versus doing it by yourself. Um, another thing I wish was that I had people that I knew from previous courses, previous classes that I've taken that was in my microbiology class because that could have helped too because we could have like you know partnered up together you know va 
FaceTime or whatever like that. We didn't have to actually physically see one another. I like to work ahead. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, working ahead really helped me a lot because it allowed me to put time into my exams and studying. Now with my lecture exams, my recommendations um, with those is read your book, obviously. Um, if your teacher has PowerPoints or handouts, definitely do those definitely recommend those because a lot of times your teacher will break it down now I'm not gonna lie for our lab exam my teacher did not go into detail at all my teacher was super bogus for that one her study guide for the lab exam was like just look over lab one two and three that was all she did like she didn't give no extra tea at all and that's why I did so poorly in my labs because that's why I got two C's and one B in my lab all on my three labs because there was no like study guide point for the lab exams like most people like most of your teachers will have like a breakdown like hey go over and they'll have study guide questions my teacher didn't have study guide questions for our lab exams she literally just put look over lab one two three four that was all she put. So that's why I didn't do good in the lab exam because I didn't really know what I was studying for. I was just overall looking at everything and I didn't have structure. So um, hopefully you're a teacher is not like that. So that's basically my tips, you guys. Like that was super simple. Um, work ahead on your labs. Um, work ahead on your a a lecture exam. Um, check your teacher's syllabus and see if that particular teacher offers um, um, extra credit because some teachers do offer credit i have not had a teacher that didn't offer extra credit when it comes to my science courses so basically my anatomy a and p one and two both of my teacher my well both of my teacher i took the same teacher for a and p one and two um so he is going to um he did offer us extra credit which kind of helped me get my a in my anatomy too i did get a b in anatomy one i got an 80 Eight, I think or an 89 it was a really high B it wasn't a low B it was super high I know that for sure it wasn't really a low B it was like a high it was like an 88 or 87 and honestly I was so mad because I'm like dude you could have gave me those extra two points somewhere you could have found two points to help us with the out but it was okay because I took him again for anatomy too and um I got an A in it so hey works for me yeah, so that's my tip on how to get 100 in microbiology. Um, I know people want to look for answers for microbiology. Unfortunately, there's just not really a pinpoint answer you can give people on how to get an A. You can give them like advice and tips and stuff like that. But I can't say, well, make sure you study the um, mold growth on this plate. Or make sure you study... Um, how does milk does this and how does milk grow this like there's not a pinpoint because each teacher may have you going over certain things differently and microbiology is probably just like chemistry there's not a particular thing that you can say to help you get an a now with anatomy that will be a little bit different i will do a video on that one too um how to get an a in anatomy but um that one I can actually kind of break down details because anatomy is basically the same. Like it's the same thing. Like you're learning bones, you're learning muscles and things like that. So thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you did in your microbiology course, whether if you took it years ago or whether you took it later. Um, and let me know how you did. Thank you.